This video may be boring, but it's going to show you how I get hundreds of leads from YouTube and actually from Google when my videos rank number one. Check it out here. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Over the last seven years, I've made over 700 videos and I get hundreds of leads from YouTube. And I'm here to share that if you're a business owner, your best lead comes from YouTube. Why? Because if they learn something from you and you educate them, and you show up as the answer to their problem, they're more likely to work with you, trust you, and have a relationship with you. And I'm gonna break it down on my screen today and show you this video, how you can take your transcription from your video, turn it into your YouTube description, your YouTube title, show up in the search rankings, get it in your blog, and get more traffic. And if you're new to my channel and you want the exact prompts we're gonna to use today, comment system down below, somebody from my team will send you this full AI prompt to copy for yourself. You ready? Let's dive in. All right, so you can see here, this is a video that I just published on Monday. Today's Wednesday. So just two days later, you can see Google is putting a YouTube video at the top of the Google search results. Why? Because it's answering a question somebody typed in to Google. Now, this will grow over time. I'm only showing up for this exact keyword right now, but over time, it'll be shorter so if somebody just says retarget website visitors then i'll have this youtube video showing up over time as it gets ranked here's the ai prompt that i want to give you guys and like i mentioned if you grab this you can just start copying and pasting this for yourself so what you do is you go to the prompt and you just copy this you come all the way down to the transcription go ahead and get that copied on your computer and head over to your favorite ai software like chat gpt go ahead and paste that in now, you've got my full prompt here. It's telling it exactly how long it should be, how to do the SEO, how to break it down, how to give it all the information, make it easy to read, simplify it, and even ask it for timestamps. Next, you wanna use whatever software you use to edit your video like CapCut or Adobe Pro to download that transcription. Now, if you don't have one of those, there's free softwares online you could use. And if you check out in the description below, I'll add a few links there that you can go and use for free to start downloading your transcriptions. From there, you can go to your transcription. You wanna copy the whole thing, that way that you can just paste it in. And then you're gonna go back to the bottom where it says, here's my transcription, and you're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Now, while that's doing that, I'm gonna show you my YouTube video. This is how I titled my video, just like this. This is the transcription and the steps that it took from my prompt and put it right in there. And you can see it's broken down to where, who I am, what you're gonna learn, some other details, and then timestamp. So it shows up nicely in the search. And then it just gives them the full guide. Some people like to read while they listen or while they watch as well. Last but not least, I just copy and paste my affiliate links down below and boom, there we are. So now let's scroll down and we're gonna see that it went ahead and it created our exact description for our YouTube video. Now what you can do is just copy and paste this reformat it and you can go ahead and put it in your YouTube description. From there, I give you a few more prompts. Prompt number two, give me some hooks. So what these do is these are gonna give you the hooks for your thumbnail. Now I'll make another video sometime talking about thumbnails, but for now, what would I do is I just use a software called Fiverr and you can go ahead and grab my affiliate link down below. You're gonna see it right here for freelancers. Sign up with my affiliate link send me a comment down below and I'll send you my favorite thumbnail designer. And what we do is we create these three hooks and we create three different thumbnails here. That way YouTube will split test them. Have you ever watched Netflix and seen that the, the thumbnail changes every week? So it kind of tricks you to make you think that it's a new show. That's what YouTube's doing is they're being more like Netflix. So you want to test two, three thumbnails to see and let the algorithm figure out which one gets people to actually stop and click. Okay, now it's spit out 10 different hooks that you can use in your thumbnails when you send it to your freelancer that I recommend to you. I, what I usually do is I go and choose my favorite three, and then sometimes I'll just word them a little bit different to make sure it matches my brand voice. But these give you 10 examples, then you can just choose your favorite three. Now go to your freelance site and reach out to the person that's gonna help you with your thumbnail. Go ahead and get those uploaded. You're gonna see that in the test area here. They'll give you three options, choose the third one to split test the three. Next, what I like to do is create series. So what I have is I have three or four series. I have marketing automation series, X advertising, and YouTube. Those are my top three that I put out every single week. 
And what you want to do is keep this as a series. So after they watch this video, it recommends that they watch another video around the same topic. All right, from there, what I like to do is take everything that I have provided them and I want to ask them to give me a really good title. So that way it captures a business owner's attention when they're searching. So what you want to think about is who's my ideal audience? What are they searching for? Put that in your prompt so it knows who you want to target. And then what it's going to do is suggest the best title to show up when somebody search. And what you want to do is you want to make sure it's going to show up right here at the top of Google or at the top of YouTube. So when somebody searches for that specific thing and your specific customer, you show up there. The next thing we want to do is ask it to give us 15 search terms of what somebody might type in. Now, YouTube says this is irrelevant, but I do like to use this for other uh, scenarios, like for my blog post, once we add it to the blog, and you can even come and take some of these keywords and put it in your description up above. But what I do is I go ahead and copy and paste those right in here. It'll give me 15 of them. And then once they spit them out, we can copy and paste them into the tags. All right, last but not least is we wanna help our learners find the explanations that you're solving the problems for. And my good friend Aaron actually told me about this. I didn't even know this, about this a month ago, but I'm seeing a big difference and it helped quite a bit. So what you wanna do is scroll down and choose your category. Before, I just kept this as people. So now what I'm doing is changing it to ed education. I'm giving it a how-to type. And what I'm doing is giving it those titles and those prompts to show where in the video I'm answering that specific question. So now, instead of just showing up for this search term, I'll start showing up for these search terms as well, and it'll skip to that part of the video to make it easy and a good user experience for the watcher. From there, I just say where I filmed it at, what the level is, and I don't know if that's too important or not. Last but not least is in my next video coming out on Monday, I'm creating a video to show you how to turn this YouTube video into your a blog post and add it to your website. So what you can see is I turn this entire video into a blog post, added the YouTube video into my website, and then created a full blog based on the transcriptions that I use in the video. That way there's no AI generation, it comes from my voice, and it's all about the lessons that I provided. Once that's in, I go and index it with Google Search Console, tell Google, hey, this video and blog is live, go show it on the first page of Google. So if you wanna learn more about YouTube and YouTube ads and how to grow on YouTube, check out this playlist here. And if this video brought you any value, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you on my next video.